<laughs> lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft pro. afternoon finally finally we're bringing you Camden House Buckley glass on the perfect draft pro but of course running at three degrees Ooh, blimey. okay nothing like a lively pint with a dog here and there is the exclusive Four finger head. <laughs> so how does that happen? It's, it's the first one out of the barrel, as you know, sometimes. But it's, that's not that bad. It's still an exclusive four finger head. But uh, we can work with that. We can always top it up, can't we? Yep, that looks good. Okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, that's a nice pipe, isn't it? <laughs> right, so uh, this came part of the pack. Mm -hmm. We get the two glasses, the two kegs, an excellent idea from beer hawk you can see the bar runner as well very good quality right um this one i know a lot of you want for various reasons and everything um as you can see with this. <laughs> yeah being a tottenham supporter um camden's really not my thing because um i used to like them and then i put a post up somewhere because i've got the old style camden glasses here somewhere haven't i yeah, yeah. From when we used to buy Camden beers, and um, I was quite into this beer, if I'm honest. And someone told me it was a South London beer, and that was it. I didn't drink it again. So um, I did have it in a pub, didn't I? When there was no choice. You did, yeah. But on this one, I was giving a <laughs> full and honest beer review. So football goes out the window just for five minutes or so, and here we go. Right. Yeah. I've decided to play this in exactly the same way. This is a beer review. Yeah, I'm a Spurs supporter, but I'm not reviewing this with the whole football thing in mind. I'm reviewing it as a beer review. So here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice biscuity malt there. Yeah, so what did, what did Baza say? Bready malt was all the yeah, beer, no it's idea. Yeah, it's kind of biscuity to me. There's quite a nice, soft, almost sweet smell there. Yeah, so I don't normally watch other reviews, but I had to watch Bazza's and Simo Sups is doing a review, but I watched all the beer, no idea, and he, I, I don't normally do this before a review, but he did keep saying it was bready malts. So I'd have to go along with Bazza rather than you. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Mine's just my opinion. But it does smell... You see, I, I'd say, if I was choosing myself, it smells, it smells kind of floral, which neither you or Bazza would say. No, I'm not picking up that kind of aroma from it. But then we're all different, right? dive in and let you go first. Okay, well now that that head has died off a little bit, the carbonation still looks quite good coming Brilliant. through there. Yeah. You probably won't see on the camera but... Let's hold it up and we might get a little bit. But yeah, it's still coming up there really well. These lovely glasses as we know. But this, um, I've seen a few people in the last few days, obviously we're a bit later with this one due to being away and it, it's been Highly popular, I'm not going to lie. Go on, go on. So, after you. Right. Putting everything aside, yeah, I do like this lager. I did like it before. We've had cans way back, and I used to drink it and I used to enjoy it. Bottles. And bottles, yeah. Um, this is good. Carbonation this is really nice. It's moving the flavours around your mouth. You've got a nice um, medium body drink there that it doesn't feel wishy-washy. You've got really nice malts in there. No, it's, not, it's not watery at all. It's, no, there's no wateriness there. It's a nice full mouthful. Um, 
it, it's malty, but it, it, it's like a deep kind of malty, bready, biscuity kind of taste to it, as well as the smell. It's, it's defined, I know it pains me to say this, but it's defined, it's 4.6%. Yeah, volume that I don't think is. I mentioned at the beginning. Because at four point six, you would expect it to taste maybe a little bit watery or um, wishy washy. Isn't yeah. It? yeah, I mean, as I say, it's been a while, obviously, since I drank it. But Jesus, um, yeah, it's got some flavour to it. This, um, I see where everyone's coming from. Um, Jesus, um, yeah. I mean, cost effective. If you didn't do the pack, which is an absolutely amazing pack, hopefully it comes back with the glasses and that. It's like six pound ninety a keg with everything taken into consideration. It's costing you about two pound sixty a pint. Um, that's good. No matter what way you go. I like the I like that um, biscuity multi kind of taste. There is a gentle, soft sweetness in there, but it's also really nicely balanced out by a lovely kind of a bitter. It's a soft bitterness. It's not a harsh bitterness that hits you um, like yeah. the pills. It, but it's there. And it's it's balancing really, things out. The flavours all balanced out. Well. Didn't Bill say that it's a it's a cross between a, a, a pills and a and a, her, and a hellies? Well, hence why it's called hells. That's why the name Camden Hells is it. Well, then that Which would make perfect sense. Makes it's, sense. Yeah. I would say I'm not getting as many sweet notes as probably you are. I'd go on this more than the pills than the hells personally. That's my personal opinion. I think it it's got a look. Obviously, it's clean, crisp. Mm. Going about that all day, it's got a really smooth mouthfeel as you're going through. There's plenty of flavours from your malts coming off it, but there's just a lovely bitter bit at the end. Yeah, that is really one of them getting yeah, you want to go back. Yeah, I want to go back and try that again because mm. it is mm. with a lot of lagers. You are picking up your malts, your sweet malt in there, and some citrusy flavours. I'm not picking up anything citrusy from this. No, really. I don't know where the orange and um, lemon or something came from. from someone somewhere along the lines but that that is a flower um, i would say that crikey getting this out in october i would have got this out in july yeah obviously maybe it wasn't possible for one reason or another i understand that next summer you can see that flying out mm. yeah that's very good it's not like your standard lagers a lot of them are very samey in taste this one isn't for me it is exactly like you say i am getting that slight bit of sweetness that nice biscuity kind of malt that is it has really got a, gives it a really good backbone to it and then in with a kind of hoppy finish that slight bitterness pulls the whole lot together really nicely really yeah. refreshing drink i would just say as i say personally i'd go along with it as more of a pills than a hell's yeah. or hellish whatever you want to call it um it it has got that kind of vibe about it that's right with this Bitter ending. It has got that sort of vibe. Yeah, I would agree with you. I don't think it's as as sweet as what. Oh, I am. No, I am picking up a sweetness to this. I'd like to. I mean, I'd like to put this against something like Hasselroder. Mm, I see. Yeah. Hasselroder is, in my opinion, the unsung hero on the perfect draft. Um, you've got to remember, as we all know, there's a lot of big hitters mm. already on the PD. Where this shakes up, I'm drinking one pint between us. It's really hard to tell, you know, it's only saying that people that know us will get to know over the course of time because obviously we'll go back on it <coughs> and look at I, other I would be, like you say, because there are really good examples of this style of beer out there, it would be good to compare them and see the, where this compares with others. But it does, there's, there's something, I can't put my finger on what it is at the end. But there's something at the end that's really wanting you to go again. And yeah, as I say, they'll flow down in the winter. Don't get me wrong. You don't need them 30 degrees or whatever in the summer. But I just feel it would have been better coming out earlier. Yeah, you can say, see that as, a, as a good summer beer. You know, um, <laughs> what, do I, what do I say here? Um, I'm not going to get this again because I'm going to take enough stick for this review. Especially when some of my friends at Tottenham see it, <laughs> so. Um, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't purchase from Michelle if she wanted it. The only thing about this particular drink, as people were saying, that leaves a sour taste in the mouth is its association with Arsenal. The actual beer itself is very, very good. Would I drink it again? Yes, definitely. So, are you going to do a rating? Yeah, okay. You've got both of them there because <laughs> I didn't want mine getting eaten.
It's chewed up enough as it is, there'll be nothing left. <laughs> you see, it's like the South Londoners. No good. What can I say? Um, this is a good beer. This is a good beer. This is going to be popular amongst popular. Um, How far do I go with this? Because I do enjoy it. Yeah, but you was, you was always more of a Camden fan yeah. in the first place. Yeah, I was. You know, you're taking football away from things. Um, For me, I can only say there's a lot of big hitters already on the machine. I can only give it a fair seven. Okay, I'm giving it a rate my beer of 8.5. I almost stretched to a nine. I really do enjoy this particular drink. Yeah, I would drink it again. Definitely. Well, good. We've got loads of it yet. Yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> what can I say? Um, let us know if you tried it yet. As I say, I know we're a bit later on this one. I will do it against Hasselroda. I'll be interested. Yeah, um, that, the comparisons would be really interesting. Anything else true. anyone's interested in me doing? If I've got it here, you know I'll try and do Look, it for you. Go. Right, thanks for watching, people. Have a good weekend and bonjour. See you next time.